Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Ms. Rolson on this Daily Rambles. Today, we're doing a different show. <gasps> what? Uh, seriously, I'm doing a different show. Um, but still in the DC Universe, we are doing The Flash Season 1. This is the pilot. So we start off with um, Barry's backstory about um, how he's doing what he's doing. Um, basically, um, him and his mother and father, they live together very happily. And then one night, um, there was a, a like a circle of lightning around his mother, and she was freaking out and crying and everything. And he sees a man in yellow. And then next thing he knows, he's a block away. When he gets back, his mother is dead, and his father got charged for murdering his wife. So yeah, then we go ahead to the present day, where well, it's not really the present present day, but it's like. Of also like a flash forward, but like nine months ago. Anyway, so um, per Barry is always late for work. You need to be on time, kids. You got to do that. Um, but um, but one thing I will say is I love the effects at the beginning in season one about how he um, uh, cause he's super super good at his job. Like when he does get there eventually. You get to see other little things like um, how he determines things, like in white shows, like the tire tracks. Like he already knows what the make a model is. Like he's, he's a super smart per, um, person. Uh, so I really do like that a lot about this show. Like he's not a dumb dumb. He's actually really smart. And then we have Iris's intro, and then we have someone that tries to steal Iris's laptop, but he couldn't get to the person in time. Because he's so slow. And then, um, then, then Eddie shows up and helps. And he's, and Eddie's like a new, um, cop at this point. Because, um, we haven't gone forward, forward in time. So, um, shows up and helps. And then, um, Joe finds a hideout that, um, very suggestive from the Mustang. Because, um, he did turn about cow manure. What? Okay. Ugh. And the funny thing is, when he tested the cow manure, he grabbed Joe's partner's pen that was given to him by his grandfather. It's like, that's an heirloom, Alan. He's like, oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. So he's kind of awkward, which I like too, because I'm severely awkward as well. So, if you don't think I'm awkward, thank you. But I am super awkward. Anyway, so um, they found a hideout, and then um, his um, Joe. Uh, Wes's partner got shot, and so the two people that shot him, they escape on a plane, but the particle accelerator blows up the plane, and it goes down because like, it did like some type of electrical. Uh, first, like, this big wave hit, then a bunch of lightning just struck him in the plane and blew it up. So you had that happen, and then, um, then also in that same instance, um, Barry got struck by lightning as well and got knocked out and that's basically the like the first 10 minutes of the episode and then we have nine months later and then um barry wakes up from a coma listening to pop um what is it poker face by lady gaga in star labs that's the thing like people play the first season they always play modern music they always do and they um, spurs it out throughout the entire episode but they don't keep doing it in other seasons because budgets. Y'all should work on those. I have more current songs. So anyway, uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, that's just me. And so um, he wakes up and he feels a little weird. And then um, you have Kaylin and Cisco's intro and they are pushy as hell. It's like they just straight up hand him because like, I need you to pee this now. So what? Well, 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 hang on. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> And then um, we also have the Harrison Wells' intro telling them, like, slow your roll, just calm down a little bit. And then um, we cut to a bank robbery happening, and all of a sudden there's a storm that just envelops the entire, and envelops actually in the bank. I don't know why I said a storm, I meant a bank. Anyway, so that happens, and then um, Barry starts running fast and starts uh, running into stuff, which is super funny. It's like testing it. Somebody tells him speed doesn't know how to do it correctly. So he's like running into a, he runs into like a 
delivery truck, then he runs into a wall, he runs into a police car, he just like doesn't know what's happening. And also, he's like, when he first looks at he's like, I have abs. What? How's this possible? So I like I like everything that's going on. And you can already tell this is a much wider show off the bat. You know, there's a lot of violence in it, but you can tell it's a much wider tone. Which is, which is like a good little differentiation between that and Arrow. So, and then, um, in order to adjust the speed, they had to uh, put all this uh, gear on that won't catch fire because when he got that to Starlet's, he was actually on fire. But his clothes literally caught fire because he was going so fast. So he gets in this very awkward outfit, and then um, Cisco. They then they cut to where Cisco says he makes the toys for the group, and um, uh, so then they trust in his speed, and he takes off like super fast. But he's not good at breaking. He's not good at stopping. He literally hits like um, those water jugs that people have on the highway now. And he ran into a bunch of those, and water just went everywhere. Kind of like. So that happened, and then um, we found out that Iris is actually dating Eddie, and Barry saw it, and asked him to keep it quiet, and then when Barry and Iris go off on their own, and they're just talking about stuff, they almost get hit by a car, and then um, Barry runs, and then he actually gets into the Mustang, and then he grabs the steering wheel and flips it, and then the guy creates a storm, and it turns out one of the people that actually was in the um, in the earlier part of the episode, Clyde, one of the people that blew up in a plane, who's actually still alive. And it turns out he created the storm and the fog and stuff. So we have that, and Joe doesn't believe him because um, Barry's always been kind of extra when he's talking about stuff, and doesn't really believe him like with the um, certainties and stuff. So Joe's very grounded and. He doesn't believe Barry because of all the stuff that happened with his dad. He still thinks, you know, that whole thing. Uh, so then Barry gets answers uh, from Wells, and, Mel and Wells calls them metahumans. And then um, Wells says he's not a hero because of all the stuff that happened. And he's in a wheelchair. He used to be able to walk, but now he's in a wheelchair because of the accident. So you have all that happen, and... Then, then Barry runs to Starling to talk to Oliver, and then he runs back and gets Caitlin and Cisco to help him, because they just want him strictly for like um, experiment, experimental type stuff. He doesn't, they don't think that he should actually be out and helping and stuff. But he gets him to help anyway, and then Joe and Eddie go back to the farm and find Martin, or so Clyde's last name is Martin. So yeah. And then Martin creates a tornado in front of them, and they're like, basically. <laughs> and then um, Barry tries to unravel it, and then it doesn't work at first. Then um, Wells gives Barry some encouragement, and it works, and he was managed to uh, unravel the tornado. And then uh, Joe kills Martin. Then Joe's in disbelief when Barry reveals himself to him. And then Joe wants to keep a secret. So apart from uh, not Terry and Barry, he also agrees to help him, I'm telling Iris, he also agrees to help him with the case with his dad, because now he knows the possible, the, the impossible is now possible. So you have that happen, and then Barry visits his dad in jail, and it's a super emotional scene, like a super emotional scene. I really like that scene, too. And then um, you have some Will's shadiness goes on where he's not really in the wheelchair, He's in some secret room. So yeah, that happened. At least I think so. Unless I said something that I shouldn't have. Anyway, probably in a future episode. Anyway, a, a great episode. I'm going to give this an A+. Plus. And I really like how it's all setting up and everything. I like how the backstory and how like Joe doesn't believe him at first because all the stuff that he's gone through. I really like that. So really... Really awesome episode. I really liked it. I love all the scenes in there. Everything about the show is also fantastic as well. As well as um, Arrow. So, yeah. Everything's such awesome. So, I really have nothing bad to say about this show so far. So, um, 
like I said, um, just awesome. So anyway, if, if you want to like, comment, and subscribe, that would be most appreciative. And I'll see you on my next episode. After I had to edit because I flubbed up so much today. I literally made 10 bloopers today. Yeah. So anyway, um, I'll see you on the next video. And I want y'all to have a super, super awesome day. Bye, everybody.